Welcome back to DXB Today. And I probably should have had dinner before this interview because I know it's going to make me salivate. But we are here with the founders of Cochina del Sol. We're here with Ola Jaroudi and with Tariq Sultani. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Now, started from the bottom, now we're here. You started in your backyard. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about the journey you've been on, Ola? So, um, this was a COVID baby. Uh, he was cooking in the kitchen. He got the house in a big mess and I told him just to basically get out and start cooking outside because I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and uh, so we built this amazing outdoor kitchen where uh, we found ourselves hosting amazing uh, upcoming uh, cooks, chefs, foodies, uh, private events for a full year. Okay, and these events just took on a life of the, on their own. Everybody wanted to come and try the food and you know, they were just waiting for us to open up and uh, they wanted to taste the food and this is how our outdoor food experiences basically took off and started. And, you, and your, the name is very interesting. Can you yeah. tell us how you guys came up with it as sure. well? We, we get that question a lot. So everybody yeah. thinks it's quite sophisticated. But basically, Cucina is kitchen yeah. and Del Sul is short for our family name, Sultani. So it's oh, Kitchen okay. of Sultani. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but the soul, there's, there's a play on the soul, soul, sun. I don't know, it just, it, it worked. It worked in our favor. Well, I mean, <laughs> from your backyard yeah. to the Formula One, let us know, like, tell us, how was the Formula One? What, what did you guys do there? How was the reception to it? It was fantastic. I mean, it was packed with people. Uh, what we did is what we typically do, is we bring different kind of food concepts together and create a great kind of social experience where people gather around food. Uh, so we had some of the kind of homegrown heroes, different cuisines, and each one had his own kind of food truck, really nicely branded, a nice setting, music, vibe, all that. So it's fun. A lot of work for F1, definitely. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. I was say, I'm such a foodie and I love eating all kinds of food. So have you got any events coming up that maybe people can come and attend? Yes, we've got uh, in a couple of days an event in uh, Jabal Hafid at the foot of the mountain. So. Wow. It's a barbecue event, yeah. live fire. There's going to be a kite festival, uh, an art hike. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, really interesting. But th the mood, the entertainers, the best food. You guys should come. I love Absolutely. that. Okay. I love that. It's really so experiential really, really as well. It's not just about the food. Like you've got entertainment, yes, music, everything. Yes, we everything. bring it all together. So we we like to do it the way we like to go out. Basically, we're bringing the way our lifestyle to to everyone. Basically. I mean, I saw Benoit's eyes light up when you <laughs> mentioned food and yes. mountains. Yes. And hiking. Yes. There's, and a, there's hiking actually an well. outdoor art trail outdoor. as well, so people can actually hike and, oh, and, and, and watch the art as well. Yeah. Uh, the event's called Meets and Mountains. Meets and oh, Mountains. Oh, wow. That's so Love cool. That. Yeah. And you also yeah. have another event at the Sirkal Avenue. Yes. So can you please yeah. tell us more so about again, that? So again, like what we started in our backyard grew so much that, I mean, after we took it out to the desert, like folks in the city is like, come and actually activate our spaces as well. So we did something called the Big Backyard Barbecue oh, wow. at Sirkal. So we took over the kind of uh, the, the center court area. Uh, and again, we brought our food concepts together over a weekend. Uh, lots of friends, family, kind of you know, the community came together over food. And can you tell us more of, about the dishes that you guys are serving? Yep. What is the best so selling? We, what yeah, do people so we, like? We don't serve. We, <laughs> obviously, we love to cook, but yeah. uh, there are such, I mean, Dubai has such an amazing culinary talent. Yeah. And there's a lot of people, a lot of our community members are kind of people who, who have full-time jobs, but their heart and passion is in cooking. Mm -hmm. So they're all trying to break into the industry. So we give them that platform to actually showcase their cuisine, their talent and all that. And a lot of it uh, is about live fire, barbecue, yeah. uh, even like the, the kunafa is on live fire, the paellas are on live fire. Uh, yes. Uh, you exactly. To answer your question, <laughs> to answer your question, burgers are always number one. Oh yeah, uh, by yes. far. True. That is true. <laughs> what yeah, are the challenges burger, when yeah. when you are in the desert? Sandstorms. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually maybe the the biggest challenge. Yeah. And once the event know. has started, yeah. there's always the hello, I'm stuck. Come get me out. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's that's always. But we have people. Helping, uh, you but know. that's fun. That's part of the that's, that's part, part of the experience, of yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, like you just yeah. never know when you have to adapt. No? So I call him, and he's always out in his truck. People are sitting in his truck, and he's bringing people into the shuttling people, shuttling people in his. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it started from your backyard. It's yeah. made it here, so there really is no limit to how far it could go. Where do you see it going? What What do you hope to achieve with Cucina del Sol? <sighs> Well, let's see. One, because we, we did host uh, a competition as well in our backyard. So we would like to bring food sports to the community on a much bigger level. 
this is one this is one thing we'd like to achieve maybe a semi-permanent camp of the camps that we're doing and uh, maybe take it out somewhere take it regional regional love it right. how Why regional not? are we talking <laughs> I think there's there's kind of beautiful beautiful spaces in, in Saudi Al Ula areas like that are just fantastic. well we did host meets and things. mountains yeah. in Lebanon as yeah. well oh wow exactly. yeah Incredible. yeah in, in in COVID we hosted it in Lebanon and we just we found the mountain yeah. in Paris and we're like, just let's do it. Yes. And you guys yes. were talking about Hatta uh, yes. a few minutes ago. And I mean, Hatta, we were actually in talks with some of the guys in Hatta because it also has beautiful settings, the hikes, the activities. Uh, so that's another kind of place. Okay, I'll well. definitely go. I'll definitely yeah. go. You <laughs> sold it. You sold it. I'm convinced. I was going to say, guys, it absolutely, absolutely sounds delicious and amazing and just overall an incredible experience for people to enjoy who like the outdoors and food alike. I'm going to ask for you to stay with us a little bit sure. longer because we're now going to do DXV in 60 where we're actually going to get to know Benoit a little bit better. Ahmed, yes. you are the man with the questions. Are you so ready? Yes, yeah, so we've got a couple of questions just to know you better okay. and we're going to cue the clock for 60 seconds. So in three, two, one, if you weren't a life coach, what kind of work would you be in? I would look after children. One thing you cannot live without? Nature. What's your motto in life? Uh, become a better person. If you can spend 24 hours with somebody, who would it be? Roger Federer. What is the last book you read? I don't read books. <laughs> well, okay, what is the you last series? <laughs> Do you watch any series? Uh, yeah. What is the last one that you've watched? Uh, was uh, um, called Soul. The series, oh. yeah. Okay, and uh, what's the most used app on your phone? Instagram. Instagram, and why Dubai? Uh, I've been here for 20 years. It's become my second home, or maybe my first home, to be honest. Um, life is great here. Yeah, and well, who's the most interesting person that you've met? Oh, interesting. Uh, pr probably Roger Federer as well. Okay, wow, yeah. that's amazing. Well, right. 60 seconds just wrapped. Nice. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us on Thank the you. show. Thank it's been a pleasure us. talking to, to everybody. Yeah, Benoit, it's been great having you as a guest co-host. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tarek. Thank you so much, Ola. And we hope to see you again. Uh, we hope to see you at Cucina del Sol as well, yes, because please. that's where the food is, right? And in our backyard as well. And well, Benoit's going to be there as well. We'll yes. see you in your, back, in the, in yes. your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all going. Yes, yes uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's still some show left to go. But for right now, let's have a little sneak peek at who's going to be performing for your very pleasure on tonight's show. We are called For The Music. We are super excited to perform on DXB today.